70% or so. So we can see it all on the screen here. So there's the header. Uh, now, sort of just like in Photoshop, if you've used it, one of the neat things that I use the most is building up things with layers. And uh, so without going really in depth into it, uh, if you have GIMP open and you have an, your default image open, uh, this is the image here, it'll be called background. I'm going to the bottom here and I'm going to create a new layer. Click create new, leave everything default. It'll just sort of make a new layer that's a copy of the existing layer. Leave it set it transparent and click OK. So it's a copy of the existing, but it doesn't have anything on it. I'm just sort of hiding the existing. So now what we want to do is on this layer that we have selected is paint our color through the whole thing. So I'm going to come over here and pick a color. And uh, what did we say? Green, I guess is what we said we were going to work with. So come in here, pick any shade of green you want. Doesn't matter, I'm not going to spend a lot of time figuring out what I want. Uh, pick your paintbrush, come over. You can hit the right bracket on your keyboard uh, to increase the size of the paintbrush. And there are other ways to do it as well, but just make it sort of big. And then come across here and left click and paint your color of green across the entire header. So what we've done here essentially, this is just like taking overhead transparency slides and putting one on top of the other when you're working with layers. So if I hide that green layer, there's my original. So I have this green layer laid over the top of it. Now what I want to do is be able to see through the green. So I'm going to take the green layer that's laid over the top and I'm going to set the opacity down to a level that I like. I'm not going to get too scientific with it. But let's say I'll set it down to about 50-55% somewhere in there. You can see how the design is still showing through from the original layer here, this sort of design part. Uh, so I have my green over it, but my design is still showing through. Take it down to 48 or so. That's it. Uh, once I've done that, I'm going to File, Save this back over the top of the same file. Save this as the same name, put it in the same location in my theme. Uh, replace the one that's there. Uh, it, tells you that we need to export and to flatten the image just say OK go ahead and export it and save. Okay. So now my green header should be over the top of that existing blue header. If we come back and refresh now I have a nice green header. Well I guess nice if you like green. Uh, but anyway it, it changed my header to green. I still have my design coming through. Looks pretty good. So now let's see what we can do about our background here. Our background image, remember, if I right click and look at the image, uh, it's in the images folder and it's called page BG and that's a PNG file. So let's go back to GIMP. I'm done with this. I can close. Uh, I'm going to open now in the images folder the page BG PNG file. Now when you open this file, it's very small. It's only one pixel wide and it's 675 pixels high. So you can't really see it that well. Uh, so what I want to do to start with is make it a little wider so that I can see it. So I'm going to bring it up to 800%. And I'm just going to hit the left bracket because I still have my paintbrush tool selected to take my paintbrush size down some. So there, now I see that gray. And if you look, if you scroll up and down, you can see how it's very dark gray at the top. It gets down and it's light gray at the bottom and that gives you that gradient so when you're looking here you can look how the gradient sort of comes down and provides that that nice sort of depth to the theme so we want to do the same thing uh, use this since it already has the gradient but lay our color over the top of it that we're using now we'll do the same thing here and we'll add another layer transparent same size right over the top of it and then we'll go down and paint that layer the same way. So just paint it with green. Uh, scroll down, keep painting. It'll take you a minute to scroll all the way down. Just make sure you get the entire length of the image painted with your green color. Now once you have the entire thing painted, uh, then you'd want to do the same thing that we did before and set the opacity down. And ideally you want to set it down the same opacity as you set your uh, header image. You don't have to be exact, but for best results you probably would want to be. I don't remember exactly what I said it, but it was somewhere around 47, 48, 49. That's good enough. Uh, so then I'm going to go and save that 
as well, right over the top of the old one, just like I did before. Replace it, export, save, and there it is. So now we can go back out and look at our theme, refresh, and now we have the green in the background. Right now my entire page is covered with the green. If I click on a comment though, notice that the bottom of the page is gray. And that's because the gradient on the, the gradient that we painted only extends down this far and then the page background color in the CSS takes over. Uh, so that's where you have to make that one CSS change so that when a person clicks on something and the page expands that you still have that green uh, following on down. Now to do that we're going to have to find out what color this green is at the very bottom because remember it's a gradient. Uh, so our full color of green starts here at the top but since we set the opacity down it's going to be actually a different shade of green at the bottom. So the way we do that as we come here, I'm going to close the image that we just created, that background image. And then I'll come in here and open it again. Uh, background PNG open. So there's my saved file open. Take it back up to 800. And then scroll to the bottom of it. Come over here and get your color picker tool. Down at the bottom, just click on Use Info Window. And then come down and click right at the bottom with your color picker. And that will pop up a window and it will tell you, it will give you the hex value of that color at the bottom of your gradient. That's the hex value we want, that we need to know. So it's 89EA6F. I'm just going to copy that. So now I can open my style CSS in my theme. It will be in the root of your theme folder. Open style CSS with a text editor and then scroll down and find where your page background PNG is. It's right here. This is the color that shows through if the image isn't laying over the top. So what we want to do is replace this hex value with the one that is the bottom color of our gradient and save. Then when we come back out and look at our theme and refresh then we can see it blends in really nicely down below. So we have our gradient extended down blending nicely. So now we have a nice looking green theme. We could actually go on and change more if we wanted. If we wanted to change this here, just right click, view image. You can see what the image is and where it's located. If you want to change it, do the same kind of thing by putting layers over them and changing them. You can come over in your menu area. Uh, it's these are the images that make up the menu. You could do the same things here and uh, change it dramatically. But just by changing the header, the background, and making the one change in the, uh, in the CSS, uh, you can come in with this theme. And uh, if you like it, but you don't necessarily like the default color, uh, change it and make it whatever color you want. So hopefully this will help get you started on uh, making some changes to this theme and any other sort of image-based theme that you want to make changes to.